take on the stage, Donald Trump. I'm just trying to get back to my old size, which is uh, six pounds, seven ounces. Uh, just trying to get back with my newborn swag, you know? Uh, to be honest with you guys, I joined the gym because I wanted to get back into dating. And uh, it's hard in New York, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of gold diggers, you know what I mean? Like, I was dating this one girl, and she just complained about everything. Like, she was like, you never take me nowhere expensive. I want to go somewhere expensive. Why can't we ever go somewhere expensive? So I took her to the gas station. <laughs> Well, honestly, like, I feel like when you meet people, you, you take a lot from that relationship, especially during the breakup. Like, you take on how to, you know, how to cook better or how to dress better. Me, I took the furniture. <laughs> and the thing is, like, see, I was afraid to always get kicked out of my house because if I came back, I wasn't going to have nowhere to sit. But, you know, now that I'm back on the market, I'm looking for a woman with two end tables. Two end tables, anybody? Two. <laughs> because I'm going to keep meeting women and breaking up with women until my house is full of friends. <laughs> Just so y'all know. But meeting people is always good, you know what I mean? Especially, like, I'm sure everybody here has been on a dating website before, right? Right? It, it sucks, right? But do you notice that the mindset of a man... And a woman is so different. Like, the guy's like, listen, I just hope she looks as good as she does in her pictures. And, you know, I'm, I'm good. But women, they're like, I just don't want to get murdered. I don't want to get kidnapped. I don't mind going camping and everything on the first date. But, you know, because murderers don't do that, honey. Yes, they do. They do. They do. Um, I actually took, I actually met somebody offline before. And, um, she was a big girl. I took her out, and uh, we went to a restaurant, we ate, and the waiter was like, Miss, what do you want? She said, give me page two. I said, damn. She said, what about you? I said, I, I just went water with the lemon because she really took all my income tax. So I like, shit, it's crazy. But I like, I like this setup, you know what I'm saying? Because New York, we meet a lot of different people, don't we? Yeah. Like, you ever talked to a homeless person before? Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they will, they will make your day amazing, no matter how bad your day is. Like, I remember I was, I was driving, I pulled up to a gas station, and the homeless guy was sitting there smiling, waiting for me, like he'd been waiting for me all day. He was like, ah, oh, there he is, there he is. What's up, baby? Why are you gonna let me clean your car? Never? But I felt thankful. So, you know, I gave the homeless guy $10 or whatever, and uh, I walked out the supermarket with a nickname. He was like, all right, Blackfeet, look, I appreciate that $10. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go a long way. I said, who's Blackfeet? He was like, that's you. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> Every time I go to that, that, that supermarket, now I got a, a theme song. He's like, Blackfeet, Blackfeet, coming through. Blackfeet, Blackfeet, coming through. <laughs> But honestly, um, New York is known for a lot of things, and uh, how many people here smoke weed? There's no police in here, right? All right, there we go, now we're talking. Um, there's nothing wrong if you smoke weed. My thing is, I can't, I can't do it because I just do dumb things. Like, I went into a 99 cent store and I spent $479 because I could not believe everything in the store was 99 cents. <laughs> I had two of everything, <laughs> but I had the munchies like hell. <laughs> I was in the bathroom <laughs> with a taco shell, some pancake mix, and M&Ms. Like, <laughs> I, was, I was cutting the onion on the snicker. <laughs> <It's gonna be laughs> <good. sighs> but you haven't been so high that I was at work and I called out. Like, I'm in the lot. <laughs> I'm in the lot. I'm like, I ain't gonna make it to My manager was like, Donald, is that you? I was like. Oh, oh damn, let me tell you that. Somebody stole my identity. <laughs> oh man, you ever been, listen, I remember I smoked some good stuff one time. I told the police where I got it from. <laughs> like the cop, I was like, look, you see look, Jamel right there with the, green, with the green hoodie. The cop left me in the car, grabbed Jamel, put him in the car with me. Now I had to act like I was arrested too. I was like, yeah, Jay, they got me. <laughs> they got me too, Jay. Now we in the precinct. Now, I can't go to jail because I already dropped the soap at home in the shower. So it's like, I, I ain't trying to be nobody white by 2.30 or nothing like that, you know what I mean? So the officer's like, Jamel, so you're going to talk to Jamel? I was like, nah, bro, I'm a G. I'm a G, I ain't telling you nothing. He said, what about you? I said, I'm a Gemini. What do you need me to sign in? I ain't to sign in. <laughs> Guys, thank you. My name is Donald. Carla Brown. <laughs> Guys, thank you. My name is Donald. <laughs>